In today's recipe, I'm just going to be using one whole banana because these bananas are humongous. If you guys can tell, these are huge. And I'm going to be using some frozen strawberries as well. I like to have at least one fruit in there frozen. It just helps the consistency, keeps everything nice and cold, um, because who wants to drink a really warm, sloshy smoothie? I know I don't. I like mine to be nice and frosty and thick. So a few frozen strawberries in there as well. We have a bowl of spinach and you can really go ham with the spinach because it packs in there really well and I don't overdo it but I do put a good amount in there for nutrients and you can barely taste it as well guys so super super great um, and then I add a little bit of silk almond milk just a splash and a good hack for you guys if you guys don't like to put ice cubes in your smoothies which I don't actually personally like to do it you can actually do a substitute which tastes even better I take um, some low-fat yogurt, uh, it doesn't have to be Dan and it can be any brand, and I actually take it and I put it in my freezer. Now some people, you know, don't do that, but for me personally, it's like the perfect hack to substitute ice cubes for something else that's frozen. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I am absolutely loving this type of recipe. It is just the perfect combination of everything and it's just so delicious. Promise you guys, if you try this at home, this tastes exactly like a strawberry banana smoothie and the green uh, is okay. Um, the spinach obviously colors it, um, but you can barely taste it. 